Okay. This is amazing, first of all. Native Instruments is always producing great quality stuff. This is definitely innovative. It's, it's quality. This is the first look. This is my first time unlocking this and playing around with it. And you guys will go along with me. So, Jacob Collier, the pioneer behind this type of stuff. I've seen several of his videos where he take a moment and you get the audience and magically somehow he get, I don't know if these are trained professionals in the audience. I just be sitting back watching like how do the audience do this or how do he, does he get the audience to do this? This is amazing. This just can't be random people in the audience holding notes. But anyway, he does these things, he goes around the world and he records. You guys got to check him out. He records the audience and he'll go di down different sections of the audience and make them go semitones higher or down or a whole note up, whatever. He makes it happen. And so this is... And I'm looking at this plugin, how it's animating, a animating, a I can't even say the word. I want to say automating, but So you got your dynamics that's controlled by your modeler wheel and that's your pitch bin, obviously. I wonder what this button does. So let's let's dive in. Let's see what's going on. So I'm gonna just be clicking random things. I like I said, I don't I have no idea what's going on. I just hit record and we can just go in. Okay. So obviously when you press a note. Animation and animating. This, this is what I was trying to say earlier. Each time you press a note, I'm noticing there's this list here on the right side. And things become. First of all, the audience lights up the different sections of the audience. And then. Some of these become inactive or active, depending on what you press. So these are not clickable, it's just showing you. So I guess right now we have Madrid, um, Munich, Paris, and whatever, right? So we start playing with the effects. Give it more reverb. Change it from mono to stereo. We could change the attack. And the release. Wow, that's a long release. Oh, long revert, wrong, long tail. So the blue section is, I guess, the, the main part. This is how you see these here. And then when you go an octave higher where the 
the yellow is highlighted is where the other effects, the the, the claps, the, the foot stump. And you know, this is about to be my go-to for that effect. I've been looking for foot stumps like forever. I try to create my own, but these right here, I think I will be going here to grab stuff like that. Get that stadium sound. Yeah. Okay. So then you can change the key. Let's see what happens if we go say C sharp. I'm guessing like a different effect. So Oh So I'm not really sure what this effects okay let's keep going oh choir generating that's probably what it affects Okay, there we go. There there it is. So when you turn quiet generator on, that is what these different notes that you can select. That's what this is catered towards. Okay, makes sense. So you can make chords just by pressing one keyboard and you don't need the complete control to do that which is cool but i just so happen to have it and it's cooler because i'm watching what it's doing as i'm pressing one note all of the notes that i that's associated with this chord generator is lit up on my keyboard and i'm looking right at it pretty cool pretty cool pretty cool All right, so I'm looking for the presets and is there any presets? Doesn't look like there's any presets. Okay, so right now this is free on the site and I would imagine that it is the reason why it's free because there's, there's not many presets involved here, but there's enough stuff in here to do what you need to do. So this is a loop. I'm not controlling it. Wow. Okay. It's doing that on its own. So if we go backwards. Hmm. So, okay. So do half time. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, this is pretty straightforward. It's free, you know, it's free.
Let's create something real quick. I'm inspired. Uh, it's probably too fast. Let's slow this down. Okay, I'm going to turn the chord generator off. Okay, so for the next scene. Wouldn't be right if we didn't make a beat, you know what I'm saying? just happened. Alright, 
Let's add some piano. Um. We started out with that and of course i would probably split these up so that i could have individual control now i'm i'm gonna say it will probably be easy to do this in studio one to split this out we're in big wig right now because I like to test things first in Bitwig to avoid things from crashing. Because Studio One sometimes is not sturdy like I need to, you know. But that's the, the gist of it. I hope you guys like what I came up with. That's uh, the Jacob Collier. I'm Ella. Remember, be culture all day, every day. Lifestyle governed by our guys. <laughs>